Yes. How you guys doing tonight? How you doing, good? We're glad you're here. Thanks for watching at home. There are people here, you can't see them, but they're making noise. Actually, someone asked me recently, they said, do you guys have like a laugh track? And I was like, no, man. It's real people. <laughs> hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. We have Nick and Joy Weiss. They're canicross athletes. What does that mean? We'll find out. <laughs> We need applause there. Let's try it. Nick and Joy Weiss, they're canon. Oh, whoa! There you go. That was a, that was a, that was a very accidentally very authentic look. Like, I just got done saying it's real people, there's no laugh track, and I was like, applause sign, come on. I'm a phony. We also have the music of Aaron Bodie. Aaron Bodie. And we have a great title sponsor, Branson. We love him. Let's check out this video we made. Today I'm in Branson taking on Fritz's Adventure, this amazing place where you can be a kid no matter what age you are. Let's go do it. All right, here we go. Whoa, here we go, here we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine, everything's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Think of happy things. Why does everyone else look so confident? I could see how kids would be scared right now, but I'm not. Are you scared? No. No, you're not scared? Me neither. Why is everything wobbling? Why is everything wobbling? <laughs> I'm okay, I'm fine, everything's fine. Everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, we're fine. The key to Fritz's adventure is telling yourself everything's fine. There you go. Yeah. You ever see yourself in a video or in a picture from a different angle and you're like, that's what my thighs look like? <laughs> Speaking of normal thighs, Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey, thank you for that compliment. <laughs> but you, you exercise a lot, don't you? Aren't you fit? I try, I try. Yeah. I go to the gym, you know, yeah. I do my thing. I drink some protein, wear but some tight pants, it makes them look better. Do you, li <laughs> do you lift and stuff? Oh yeah, man, I yeah. lift. But not as much as my husband. You gotta check him out sometime. All right, let's. <laughs> This was a plug for Mo's husband, Dave. Go Dave! Let's do things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. I have noticed that pools are fun when you have small children if you enjoy crippling anxiety while being wet. <laughs> I've noticed people who say, we don't need to keep score, let's just have fun, obviously have no idea what fun is. <laughs> I've noticed that while camping, my watch also has ticks. I've noticed that if I don't wash it, my Yeti begins to smell like a Bigfoot. <laughs> I've noticed that earbuds are really the only technology that is socially acceptable to put into your body hole. <laughs> body hole. Just at home, say it to yourself, body hole. You'd be like, I'm repulsed by me. And finally, I've noticed that ironically, folders are designed to prevent 
I've noticed that ironically, folders are designed to prevent paper from folding. <laughs> That's things I've noticed. Just things I've noticed. Just things I've noticed. Hey, uh, here's another thing I've noticed. It is fun on your birthday when you get to go to a restaurant and get free stuff for it. Yeah. yeah. Check out this video we made about it. It's not your birthday. Yeah, but they don't know that. <laughs> ah! No, it's not your birthday. You really shouldn't lie. Just to get free baked goods, you're such a crummy guy. birthday. Yeah, we really don't care. by Bush Ramlow and Shore CPAs. Set design and construction brought to you by Elements Digital Quill Studio and Skinny Theatrical Design and Fabrication. Closed captioning for the Mystery Hour provided by Paragon Architecture. Big Whiskey's is the official American restaurant and bar of the Mystery Hour. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Welcome back, everybody. Let's do it. We have a great guest tonight. We also have a great guest sponsor. P pow! <laughs> the History Museum on the Square. It's where Grandma went. <laughs> what does that mean? Take it how you will. Our guest tonight is actually two people. It's actually two people and a dog. They are Nick and Joy Weiss, and they are canacross athletes who's represented Team USA in international competitions along with their dog. I can't remember its name, Dog. Please welcome Nick and Joy Weiss. <laughs> Sit, buddy. Sit, buddy. Come on. Come on. 
Does that thing shed? Just a little. Yeah. Just a little. All right, we'll have to clean up the couch next. <laughs> uh, wait, I, so I, what, what's your dog's name? This is Oso. Oso, I knew that, okay. And Oso is what type of dog? He is a husky mix. Yeah. So we had Oso DNA tested because yeah. we were sort of curious. He's a rescue dog. Um, so he is part lab, part husky, and part Pekingese. Wow. <laughs> shouldn't there be more than three? There shouldn't be an odd number. We have a lot of questions. <laughs> well, that works. <laughs> But we have a lot of questions for you as well, because first things first, what is canacross? So canacross is the sport of cross country running with your dog. Cross country running with your dog? With your dog. And I've seen pictures, you, is it, you have like a lap, or a, what is it called, a waist yep. leash? Uh, it's a waist belt, yep. and it's basically a type of dog sledding. Yep. Just you're running and the dog pulls you instead of the sled. So it's, it's in front of you pulling you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is, is it much faster, or how's it, who's faster? The dog is definitely faster. Yeah. Most, most times, it depends on your dog. So. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't ever have to like drag it, or it's like dragging its butt, and you're like, don't do that! <laughs> Sometimes during bathroom breaks. Yeah. Right, right, we need to express some things. So, tell me then, you guys both are athletes in this. I don't know how you ever get started in this. How do you get started? So we got started in this because I had wanted a Malamute as a kid. Yeah. And so we got a Malamute puppy, found out very quickly if we didn't find a way to burn off his energy, he was gonna destroy our house. Yeah. And so I started running with him and running with a leash and he was yanking my arm out of socket. And yeah. we just had to, we knew there was a way that, to do this better. And so we did some research on the internet and just one thing led to another and yeah. here we are. And you were 400 pounds and then the dog <laughs> right. just. Just drug it off. And yeah. Drag it off, yep. <laughs> Okay, so you're both runners, <clears throat> and then you get the right type of dog that motivates you further to run with your dog. How does that transition to then being a Canacross athlete? It's just, you know, it kind of snowballed. Um, yeah. We just started off running with it, and we had both been runners in high school. I ran in college, and so we looked for 5Ks that we could run with our dog, and then we looked yeah. for more races, and then we came across the bigger races, and it just kind of kept going. Yeah, and so what's the biggest race you've run in? So we have competed for the U.S. at the uh, World Championships yeah. for dry land sports, which cane across is a dry land sport, okay. um, twice now. Um, so the first time was, actually both times were in Poland. Yeah. Both championships were okay. in Poland. And is, I imagine the, based on the type of dog, it's, it's more of a northern sort of sport, is that right? That is correct, yeah. yes. Yeah, do you, why? Because dogs get hot? <laughs> Actually, yes. Yeah. So, because dogs get hot? Yeah, so... Um, they can't sweat, dummies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, most races, if they're warmer than about 60 or 65 degrees, they'll either shorten the course or they'll cancel the race. Yeah. Because yeah. they're wearing a fur coat, for crying out loud. Yep. Yeah. In fact, this year, in um, actually 2018 in Poland, both days of the race were shortened because it was so warm. Okay. Yeah. And in Poland, is this like a big spectator sport? How does that work? In Europe, it's a big spectator sport. Yeah. It's a lot bigger in Europe than it is here in the US. Right, I don't know of any local Canacross races, are there? There's actually one that we put on. Do you? Yeah. We do. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that's, the, that's why there is one, because Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and you just put it on so you can dominate? Well, that was kind yeah, of the original was, plan, the but point. then it ends up we have to work too much. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't even much. get to race. You don't even race. <laughs> Uh, but is the is the sport a growing sport, a shrinking sport? It, it, has... is, it is a growing sport yeah. because how many people out there are already running with their dog? Right. They just don't know that they're doing cane across. So when they yeah. start, they hear about it and they say, I'm, this, I'm already doing this. Yeah. And that's sort of how it's growing. And you said cane across, is it cane across? It depends like canine, on... canine, right? Yes, but it depends on which part of the U.S. you're in because we hear cane across, canny cross, can across, it doesn't matter. It should matter. be canine cross. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you guys have big races coming up? How often are the world championships? 
Are, how many people are on a team in World Championship? I'm just fascinated by the World Championship aspect of this. So there's actually two different governing bodies. Okay. Um, and they each have their World Championships every other year. And okay. so there's actually a World Championship every, every year. year. Yeah. Just you alternate between the do two. Do they different. drug test the dogs? They do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oso needs it, I think. <laughs> but what are they, steroids? Dog Ste steroids? Dog steroids, um, caffeine for dogs um, to make oh. them more hyper. Yeah. Um, bacon strips? <laughs> I don't think they test for those. I don't know if that's what that shows up as. <laughs> this shows up as bacon. <laughs> uh, now, do you guys feel like living in an area where it's not like a very well-known thing, do you feel like you're kind of ambassadors for the sport? We do, uh, and I think that's what's exciting for us yeah. is this is something that we're passionate about, and there are so many other people out there already doing it, and we just want to be able to say, hey, you're already doing this. Like, look what else you can do with it. Yeah, yeah. and how, how have you guys fared in the world championships? Pretty well. P pretty well. You can brag, say it. How'd you do? Uh, <laughs> so, um, both times that I've competed, I've been around the top half of the field. That's awesome. And I guess I've been top 50 yeah? both times. And yeah. do you feel like, do you have a goal for like next world championship or? The next world do. championship, my goal is to be in the top 10. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's amazing. So, yeah. So now you have, you have a bunch of people watching this that are now like, I want to cheer these guys on. How do people cheer you on? How do they follow you? So we have a Facebook page. It's mm -hmm. Lucky Fox Racing. Okay. Um, we also have a, a website and an Instagram where mm -hmm. they can follow us at. Okay. And when is, when is the next World Championship? It will be it's at October, the end of October. Right? Okay. This year. In Latvia. In Latvia. Latvia. Of course. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to our place. There they are. Cheer them on. We'll be right back. Travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. Systematic Savings Bank, official bank of the mystery hour. Today I'm in Branson taking on Fritz's Adventure, this amazing place where you can be a kid no matter what age you are. It's time for the Laser Maze Challenge. My competitor, first score, Micah. What is he, like nine or something? I can beat him easy. I'm going. Micah's going down. What? What did I do? Oh, I feel like James Bond's out of shape brother. Terry Bond. It's me, Terry Bond. I get the ladies that James Bond forgets to notice. Oh, no. It's like, imagine if James Bond had to wear lots of sunscreen. Micah, do you know what it's like to wake up in the morning and feel sore for no reason? No? I do. The name is Bond. Terry Bond. Who has an inhaler? The Mystery Hour is brought to you in part by Ozarks Technical Community College. You have a dream, we have a plan. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by Bear Village. Welcome back, everybody. You guys are going to love this. Our musical guest tonight is Aaron Bodie. Sydney, come down, it's a beautiful night. 